YouTube, what's up, man? Sorry for befriending the bot. Sorry, it's been like two weeks since the last one. I, Like I said, I moved to Ohio with my girl. I had a little bullshit set up. And I said, you know what? I need my real setup. Went home, grabbed my desk, grabbed my drawings, grabbed my belt, grabbed everything. I'm building an office here in her house uh, just for the foreseeable future. So I've been doing all that, been busy with all that. Also, you know, streaming a lot and just trying to put the work in, you know. And, and, and this series has been really good. I hope you guys are learning. I know it's late in the year. But like you, like me, you guys are still playing mad. And a lot of times these things, these little tips, little tricks will be able to translate uh, to the next mad. And hopefully it is. And this one, I want to talk more about pass protection. Um, it's not really, you know, we talked about kind of picking up Blitz's last game. Uh, in this game, I want to go more for like, you know, the guys that run um, four-man rushes. Nickel over G, um, nickel normal. Uh, even whatever it may be. I, I know you guys run into that a lot because I do over G, cover three, over G, cover two, uh, palms, and you know, whatever it may be. Uh, and because contains are really good in this game. They really are. They do a great job stopping the quarterback from rolling out. But so it goes back to the last game. We have to find a way to get our running back onto the contain because he will cut block him and it'll be over for him. And uh, I got the Chiefs in the game. Once again, uh, every single tip as far as pass protection, quarterback play, I'm going to have escape artists, man. Uh, if you're playing without escape artists, God bless you. I, I think it's really tough. It's already tough enough to pass in this game. If you can't move, move and manipulate the pocket, it's going to make it even harder. So that's why all these tips, everything that I bring out, will have to do with escape artists. So this is one thing that uh, you guys probably see me do a lot if you watch me play live. That link is below for the Twitch. And uh, I just want to show you guys just what I do to, to get outside We'll say big nickel over G. We'll put Cameron Jordan, who used to have, uh, what did he have? He used to have like power specialist or something. I don't know if he still has that. But we'll just go with cover two right here. Yeah, he still has it. Now, um, let's move the ball just to give, I don't know, just give us more space. Now, over G does a good job of basic pass rush. So it gives you a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, pressure. You can spy a D tackle. I know you guys play against it. I feel like it's the most basic defense. The play doesn't matter. I'm actually in Kansas City's playbook, and Kansas City playbook is probably one of the worst. Uh, but what you want to do essentially is you want to have your running back block the biggest pass because it's crazy. You have to remove the football. So you have to make sure your running back blocks what side you want to roll on because he will cut block, and the contain will not work on the running back even if he doesn't cut block. So essentially, how do we do that against a four-man rush? There's only four people rushing. How can I get the running back to pick up one of the linemen and let the offensive line ignore him? So it would be a little easier on the right, but we're going to use the left here. What you want to do is you want to, first thing, slide away from the running back, much like last time, last pass protection, slide away from the running back. Boom. Now what we want to do, we want to double-team a D-tackle. What's that going to do? It's going to take away your guard, your center, hopefully it takes away our tackle, right? So we're gonna I, we're gonna double team him. And the last step, not necessary, but I believe when you ID the mic on this guy, that's gonna force the cut block with the running back. And that's what we want. Obviously the running back can block him, uh, but if he doesn't cut block him, he'll probably get right off the block when you're rolling out and getting out the pocket. Now this is pretty much how to roll out on this set. Now it gives you good pass protection too, because Cameron Jordan will probably get cut and he'll be on the ground. And you'll have you'll slide into the right, so you'll have tons of peep bodies over there on the right side. But uh, most of the time, you do this when you want to roll out. So say if I wanted to roll out, I would want to you know throw something like this, maybe a drag to Kelsey in route to Robinson. But it was just streak Tyreek Hill maybe. But that's the pass protection you want to do, and you'll see what happens. Completely, what you call it? I don't know what play this is. Oh, it's actually a dot. But I'll show you guys. It completely allows your offensive line to kind of ignore this guy. See, see, even even though there's, there's like nobody over top of him, he ignores him, and the running back picks him up. Now, it looks a little stupid. It goes through his body, and he trips and falls, which is always good. You know, it's always good. But more often than not, you'll get that cut block, and once you get that cut block, you can roll out with ease. I'll give you just more examples of that. You know, we'll just double team here, slide, ID. It's like that, boom. And it's crazy to think that your running back is that much better a pass protector than your tackles, but he really is. Now we're not getting that cut block that we really want. That's that's, that's that would be ideal. 
There it is. See, boom. You get that cut. Look at Cameron Jordan. He got cut blocked again. The running back cut blocked him two times. Two times the running back just cut. Like, that running back's not getting paid enough. Like, that's that. Uh, you just don't see that that often. Uh, boom. Cut blocked once. And when you're on the ground, that's what I mean. Even if I were to stay in the pocket, this is good pass protection because my best pass rusher is on the ground. So by, by double teaming and sliding away from running back, it makes my offensive line ignore that defensive end. So even if Cameron Jordan was in a contain, he would still get cut blocked like that. So I could still roll out. So you so whoever's on defense is thinking they can keep you in the pocket, but you can do that. Boom, get the cut block. Get up. Look how much space I have. Now, like I said, I don't know what play is behind. I don't know this play. I really don't know. It's really not about the play I'm running. It's just about the pass protection. And you see the running back cut blocks him again. So that's just the way I go about rolling out on these four-man rushes with contains. Uh, like I said, this side would be easier just because it's like they're closer to the outside. The D tackle's closer to the outside. I should get an automatic cut right here. Boom. Yeah, exactly. See? I mean, Mahomes can't pass, huh? I guess Mahomes has dashing dead eye, not roaming dead eye. I'm so used to roaming. Now, this is one we could probably do the same thing. Not even motion a running back. Maybe we'll allow the running back to skip across the quarterback. This is really tough to do because it takes crazy pocket presence and you have to wait. But same thing. Well, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's not that hard to do. Tyreek Hill to the Baja. That's what goes back to how slide protection affects your running back more than your offensive line. Pretty much just a quick take. I want to give you guys a quick. Quick little tip, pause. Like I said, I, I moved my whole office out here. Um, and this is going to be for the foreseeable future, the rest of the summer, especially through this quarantine. I hope you guys are staying safe. Like I said, this is just a little just to get outside the pocket because you don't want to be in the pocket when there's power specialists, pass rush elites, all those different guys that are just giving you nightmares. So this is a great way for me to go ahead and attack uh, those four-man rushes, get outside the pocket and make big plays down the field. If you need any big plays, man, manturf.com. We have all the ebooks. We have pretty much every ebook you can think of is on there, including mine, Clef, CC. Everybody has an ebook on there that can really help you become better at the game as far as adding some pass protection behind these blocking schemes.